Bloom. Well, we visited a Tucker home with the experts from Pike Nurseries to take on one homeowner's problem. This DeKalb home's front yard is a beautiful shady retreat. It's absolutely a great start for a woodland garden. They've got a lot of rock that they have inherited. There's a beautiful bird bath, and I think they've got obviously layering going on. And that's one of the things you want to think about when you're shade gardening is layers. So you naturally have this upper layer with all the tall trees like the tulip poplars. Now they've come down to the second layer, and we have a Japanese maple here. And what they I feel need to fill in just a little bit is that bottom layer. But while the trees provide a respite from the Georgia summer heat, the homeowner struggles with what to plant. We've started back with the Akuba. With Melody the McDaniel from Pike Nurseries Alaska. offers these suggestions. Since they want to be low maintenance, we'll do perennials that are evergreen, so they come back year after year. Once they're established, they're set. Melody says many of those perennials can add color to a green landscape. These are hostas. Okay. So you have some already. These have a little bit of a different color, but you see the yellow? Okay. That's going to tie into the Akuba. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we're doing a little bit of color repetition, which helps to tie a garden together. Let's put the hydrangea right behind the hosta. When selecting plants, think about what colors you like and also use existing foliage you can play off of. Melody says keep it simple. Pick a spot. It's kind of like you would do inside. You might start with your bedroom. Outside, pick a little area. Pick your front yard, your backyard, or pick a sweeping space. Like I think this space, which is right by her front door with the bird bath, is a great place to start. You add a pop of color. When you come out, you see it, and then you can build on it. And the way you do that is by each time you go to the next spot, repeat some of what you've done in the first spot, whether it's using a similar color or a texture, you'll just keep the project going. But when you complete that one spot, it gets you ready to go to the next spot and you don't feel overwhelmed. No, you don't. And if you'd like more information on plants that thrive in the shade or our other gardening with Gravier section, did you hear that, Buck? I heard that. Just head over to our website, fox5atlanta.com. If you can have burgers with Buck, I can have GWG. Hi, with Paul and gardening with Gravier. <laughs> hey, listen, real quickly, Melody says, listen, when you're picking out plants, um, go when they're actually blooming, when they're in season, so you know exactly how they look. It's a good time to do it. That way you're not surprised or make a mistake. We need to get Karen her own segment. We have to think on that. I know she's got the nine o'clock hour coming up. Yeah. Cooking love, with Karen. We love a little oh, We got time. There you go. We got options. We got yeah. options. <laughs> so we got